Shall we have a look through all the stories we've done over the last year? There are some real favourites in there. Let's take a look, shall we? Okay. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, 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 well, I, I really like that. Oh, I, I remember these. I remember them all. Yeah, I mean, he's here. Like, the world can be... Oh, I, the thing is, I can't speak fast enough to actually stop on them. The pictures are really cool and everything. Yeah, but they remind me of all the stories. Jesus dying... And that, oh no wait, it's going faster. It's, it's not stopping. I, uh, Tim, Tim, can you make it stop somehow? I, 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 how? I don't know oh, how to. Oh, I feel I just... a bit sick, it's really, oh, really man. fast. Oh, uh, Tim, make it stop. Uh, uh, oh, done. Look, we've stopped on the terrible lie. I remember this. Do you remember it? Yeah, I remember it. God had created a beautiful world for us to live in and it was all perfect. But Adam and Eve were tempted by this snake to disobey God, that was the start of the problem of sin. Yeah, Adam and Eve trusted the snake, who was actually the devil, and not God. They chose to believe a lie, that God didn't want what was best for them, that God didn't love them, and that left a gap between God and man. Oh no, Tim. It's going again. It is. Oh, hang on, let's stop it. Let's stop. The teeny weeny true king. This one was cool. Yeah, so God's people had been on a journey and through some hard times and they'd come to a new land. They had somewhere to live of their own and now they wanted a king. God was their king, but they looked at the people all around them and they had human kings. So God's people wanted one too. Trouble is, that human kings, well, they're not like God. They get things wrong. They don't listen to God and they do their own thing. Even David, who was the teeny weeny king in the title, who God chose because his heart was good, well, even David got things wrong when he got older because it turns out that humans, well, they just can't stop sinning. They do things their own way. But God that one day there would be a king from David's family who was different, who would rule forever. Cool. <gasps> oh no, we we're off again. Oh, it's so fast. Oh, my head is spinning. Stop there. The king of all kings. More kings? More kings. Some kings went to see a king about a king. The king they went to see about the king didn't know which king they were talking about. He was the king, there were no other kings, not that he knew about anyway. So Stop! I don't know what you're talking about, I'm so confused. The kings, the, with the king. It was actually three wise men who were very clever and rich and important, who had heard about a new king that had been born. That king was Jesus. They thought that a king should be in a palace, but Jesus wasn't there. Jesus was a king. But he was also a little child living in a house and not a palace. This was a different kind of king. This was God's king. Mm. Here we go again. Oh no, make it stop, make oh, it stop. Oh, it stopped. Oh. And not only has the video stopped, but the sun has stopped shining on this one. Oh. Jesus grew up. And he told all the people about God's plan and how he was God's son. He told them how much God loved them. But the leaders didn't like him and they wanted him dead. The Roman soldiers, they were mocking Jesus. You're a king, are you? You need to be a crown and a robe. A sign saying our king. Jesus could have rescued himself from the cross, but he didn't. 
because he was far too busy rescuing us, rescuing you and rescuing me. But that wasn't the end because Jesus came back to life to establish a new kingdom, a new forever kingdom that was for everyone. That sounds pretty cool. Here we go again. Oh no! Oh, oh make it stop! Uh, and stop! Oh, that's right at the very end. Do you remember this last week from Malcolm and Caroline? Yeah, this big bit at the end of the book that tells us that this story is for us. It's for you and it's for me. It says that this message about Jesus, all that it says about God loving us and Jesus rescuing us and the Holy Spirit living with us and in us, that message is for you and for me. If we believe what Jesus said, then we are rescued and we can have life forever. A perfect life in heaven with Jesus forever. That's brilliant. And thank goodness there's no more fast pictures. <laughs> it's the King Song. We're going back in time now to the time of King David. Let's go! A long, 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 long time ago, God made a promise He would send a king A great, 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 great grandson promised to David He would be a great king who would rule forevermore through time to the time of Isaiah. Here we go. A long, 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 long time ago, God sent a prophet to describe his king. Wonderful, powerful, peaceful, eternal, he will have a kingdom. It will have no end. He is the king of everyone. King. Stop. Tick tock, tick tock. It's time for the New Testament. A little less long, but still quite long ago, God spoke to Mary. You will have a son. The great, 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 great grandson promised to David. You will call him Jesus, and his kingdom will not end. What? Never, ever, ever. Wow, it was really good to look back at some of the bits of the Storybook Bible. In some ways, I'm really sad that we've got to the end because it's been so much fun to go through all those different stories and learn more about Jesus and his love for us. Yeah, I've seen that when they get to the end of a really long series on TV, they have a show where they do all the best bits. Oh, we... We've just done that bit. And, and, and they do... Awards! Awards! So we thought we'd do some Jesus Storybook Bible Awards. Ooh, now let's have the best presenter. 
That would be me. No, that's not you, it's me. Best dressed person, that would be me. No, no, again, no. Oh. I think we should have an award for the funniest outtake. Oh, now there have been some good outtakes. We should definitely be able to find something really funny in there. Yeah. How about an award for the best sketch? Oh yeah, the little bits of drama, that's yeah. a good idea. I really enjoyed those. I mean, I think we should also have one for the best thing we've learned about Jesus. Okay. Because yeah. it is all about Jesus. And we've learned some really cool things about yeah. Jesus. And and can we have can we have one last award? Can we yeah. have the best person involved in Might and Kids? Can we do that as an award? Well, as long as it's not you. Well, yeah. I've, I've got somebody in mind. Okay. Is it the other Tim? I couldn't possibly say. Shall we start with our award ceremony? Let's, Let's do start. it. <laughs> best outtake coming up. You're pausing after school, yeah? Okay. Mm. I'm just give a little bit of a lead in before we start. Do you school? Yeah. Because then they have to start with some sort of weird face. Well, we have had so much fun going all the way through the Jesus Storybook Bible this year. And the thing that we have loved absolutely the most about Jesus that we have learned is that he has been prophesied about from the very beginning. He was always part of God's big rescue plan. And, you know, in the Old Testament, the prophet Isaiah gave Jesus so many different wonderful names that we've really enjoyed thinking about. He said that Jesus would be the Prince of Peace. He would be the Shepherd. He would be the lamb. He would be the servant. He would be the mighty God, the wonderful counsellor. All these names pointing to Jesus being the saviour of the world. What we found out, what we really enjoyed about covering the Jesus Bible storybook. Well, like it says on the cover, every story whispers his name. And there are some stories that we know really well from the Bible, like David and Goliath. Mm -hmm. And there are some other stories that we perhaps don't know so well, like the story of Naaman. And what I've learned is all the way through, all these stories from even the Old Testament, thousands of years before Jesus was born, all echo the things that Jesus did when he was here on earth. And so they're all signposts to Jesus coming to God being here as a person here on earth. What do you think? Yeah, that's really interesting. I always love the story of the Passover when um, Moses was helping the Israelites to escape from Pharaoh and God's plan was to use the blood of a lamb. And we learnt then later on with Isaiah that one of the names for Jesus was the lamb and then Jesus died. So the lamb was slain for the Israelites and they used his, the blood to save them. And we have Jesus' blood that saves us. And I love those two stories merging. One of the things that we've really loved learning about in the Jesus Storybook Bible is that you can just see how many people are in it. You can see from all of the beautiful pictures 
all of the lovely pictures of people. And it shows how many people that God used in his plan to save us. He used uh, important people like kings, he used ordinary people, very young people, very old people, people who were afraid, people who got things wrong sometimes. And especially in the New Testament, we see how Jesus wants to spend time with all sorts of people, all sorts of sinners, people no one liked, people who people, people who people thought were not very nice, but he loved them all and ultimately he gave his life for them all too. We've learned that Jesus' love is for everyone, for me, for you, for friends, for family, for everyone on the whole earth, and we are all invited to put our trust in him. And I love the vision um, of John and the very last story um, in the Jesus Storybook Bible and in the Bible called the dream of heaven and you see this picture here and we can see a picture of King Jesus who is being worshipped on the throne and all of the people that we've read about in the Bible who put their trust in him, all of us who put our trust in him and millions more people will all be gathered round worshipping King Jesus. What I've enjoyed learning about in the Jesus Storybook Bible is that not only does the theme of Jesus run all the way through but actually the story of man runs all the way through as well. So we see like, like Adam and Eve, we're sinful. Like God's people, we get things wrong. We do things our way and not God's way. So we are running all the way through the Bible as well. And the, rest, the best thing about that is that God's plan to send Jesus was for us. It was for you, it was for me, it was for anybody that chooses to put their trust in Jesus. And it wasn't a plan that required us to do anything. It wasn't us, didn't require us to earn anything. It was simply a gift from God because he loves us. And I think that's in the Jesus Storybook Bible as well, isn't it? God loves us so much that he gave us Jesus. And that is pretty cool. All of them, clearly. Well, there have been lots of people involved in Mike and Kids over the last year. Yeah. We've got Tim and Grace and Andy and Naomi and Al and Emma and Caroline and Malcolm and you and me. There's so many things they're good at. So like Tim's really good at dancing and Grace is really good at reading the story. Andy and Naomi could do magic. Do you remember when they pulled those, oh, those yeah. things out of the bag? Um, Al and Emma did some great memory verses. Uh, Caroline and Malcolm did lots of funny drama and oh don't forget all the children that helped as yeah, well we definitely. had people dressed as yeah. Roman soldiers we had children doing all sorts of funny things marching around the house oh, it's just so hard I don't know who to choose I just had a thought you know there is someone else who's been involved in my and kids someone else oh, Emma and who well See, the funny thing is we've been learning all about him because Jesus has been involved in Might and Kids. Every single week, the Holy Spirit has helped us to tell you guys more about Jesus, to help us love him more, to help us understand how much he loves us. And as we pointed out throughout the year, on the front cover of the Storybook Bible, it says every story whispers his name. It does. It shows us how it all pointed to Jesus. And therefore, I think the winner of the best person involved in Mike and Kids is an absolute certain it's got to be Jesus. Do that's, you agree? That's a great idea, Tim. I think it's got to be Jesus. Shall we pray and say thank you to Jesus? Let's do that. Lord Jesus, we thank you so much that as we see from the beginning of time, your love for us was so amazing that even though you knew we were going to sin and do things wrong, you had a plan to bring us back to yourself. We thank you and we praise you and we love you. Amen. Amen. So that's the end of the Jesus Storybook Bible series. So I wonder what's happening next. It's not the end of Might and Kids, is it? That's true. We've got more Might and Kid Live coming up. We've got more Might and Kids videos coming up. So do come back next week and find out what we've got going on. Oh, I'm excited to see what comes next. See you soon, guys. Bye. Bye.